Hello, Jeffco. I'm Tammy Schiff. I'm the Chief Communications Officer for Jeffco Public Schools, and this is Now Boarding. This update is for our February and March collection of board meetings. There were several meetings in February, and during March, there were not only regular board meetings, but the board proceeded with its superintendent search process and had several executive sessions and special meetings related to the announcement of our superintendent search finalist. During its February 4th regular board meeting, the Board of Education honored Jeffco Public Schools Employee Assistance Program Counselor, Caitlin Kozicki, for receiving the 2020 Detweiler Award from the Colorado Employee Assistance Professionals Association. This award recognized the most outstanding employee assistance program professional in Colorado. Ms. Kozicki was described as an outstanding counselor who goes above and beyond. The Board of Education also also congratulated Devlin Junior Senior High School Marching Band Director Becky Paschke and the Devlin Marching Band for its participation and representation of Colorado in the January 20, 2021 U.S. Presidential Inaugural Festivities through the virtual parade across America. Paschke was also honored as a member of the Yamaha 40 Under 40 National Recognition Program, which celebrated excellence in music education in 2021. The Board of Education received an update at this meeting on the superintendent's search work from the representatives of Hazard Young Atia and Associates, HYA, which was a search firm selected by the board to do the search process for our next superintendent. The firm presented reports on desired characteristics and leadership profiles, which were developed through community engagement activities and finalized by the board. These activities included online surveys and personal interviews and focus groups with all stakeholders. Clarification on Colorado's and the candidate confidentiality agreements and the next steps was also provided. On February 10th, the Board of Education held a study session to receive an update on the district-wide financial condition through its second quarter of 2020-2021 school year. This is part of the official monitoring activities of district finances with members of the Financial Oversight Committee, or FOC as it's referred to. The Board also discussed plans to support students, staff, and families in a return to in-person learning for our secondary students in the second semester. The discussion covered guidelines for level blue on the state's COVID dial, the vaccine rollout, transportation capacity given distancing requirements, the dual modality teaching challenges where a teacher is presenting content in both a remote and an in-person setting, the Friday interventions and supports for students, and increasing equity with extra and co-curricular activities. The board also received information on the status of the budget development for the 2021-22 school year and the next steps that were planned for community engagement. The board provided direction and clarity for the community budget forums and indicated initial agreement with the recommended reductions pending further discussion and dialogue. On February 24th, the board held a special meeting to continue the discussion about the return to in-person learning for grades 6 through 12, which has now been announced to take place on April 5th following the district's spring break. The board also received an update at this special meeting on the district's performance results from winter 2020-21. Staff presented an overview of the Acadians and MAP testing results by grade level from this past winter. On March 4th, the board held a regular meeting which began with a study session where the board received an update on the Myers Pool Replacement Project and employee negotiations. They also recognized two important members of our community. Joe Generosi from Stanley Lake High School received the Colorado 4A Athletic Director of the Year and board president Susan Harmon was recognized by the Colorado Athletics Director Association as the 2021 Outstanding School Board member. There were several construction contract awards approved at this meeting in keeping with the progress of the bond-funded construction projects. For more information about the status of these projects, look on our website under Jeffco Builds. The board received a budget update and the results of the community engagement efforts that had been completed since the last meeting. These efforts provided necessary community feedback in preparing the 2021-22 school year budget. The board also received updates related to the selection of literacy resources for the next school year, academic performance, and the district's unified and turnaround improvement plans. As a reminder, our board meetings are now transitioning to be held in person for board members and staff beginning in April, with public participation and guests remaining on Zoom in a virtual environment so that we can adhere to public health advisories about meeting attendance. 
Public audience participation via live stream and live Spanish interpretation is available during every meeting. Please follow the instructions available through the View Board Docs box on our website. That's it for this month's Now Boarding Update. I hope you stay well, keep healthy, and enjoy this great spring weather that's coming our way. Thank you, as always, for your support of Jeffco Public Schools.